Hello, my friends. If you guys like what you see, I would really appreciate if you did hit that subscribe button and as well hitting that bell notification so you always know when we upload. Yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you again, and please enjoy the video. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pat here. How's everybody doing? This is my first time ever making one of these videos here on the Roleplay channel. Because I usually do it over on my main channel where I talk about the past year and how much it's meant to me. How much it's, you know, affected me emotionally, physically, everything, blah, 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 you know. I usually do it on my main channel, but this is the first time I've ever done it on the Roleplay channel because, well, the channel's not a year old yet. We're still, like, about, like, eight months old or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted to do a video for you guys over here. And um, first off, just a little disclaimer. I want this video to be super freaking pretty with a lot of stuff happening on the screen and all for all of you. I might still try to do stuff with a lot of fan art that you guys gave me. Uh, but I've been kind of drained right now. As you can see, I mean, there's nothing here. This world that I'm currently in, there's nothing really here. Um, just besides me and slime balls, but you see this green screen here. I've been working on the My Hero intro a lot, um, every single day. <laughs> it's probably why there hasn't been as many videos on the channel as of recently. Uh, it's because I've been working probably like 12 to 15 hours a day on this intro. So, yeah, it's coming out really well though, I promise. It's just, I've been tired, really tired. <laughs> But it's looking great. I, I know you guys are going to be very happy with what I come up with. I think it's going to be really cool. Anyways, so yeah, back to reflect on everything from 2020. Well, first off, um, the channel grew so big. There's so many of you beans out there now. I'm so happy that you guys decided to watch my content this past year. I think like as of right now, the channel is up to about 32,000 subs, which is a little insane to think about it because there's just so many of you out there now um when i first made the channel I've, I've told the story in the channel before but when i first made this channel i was so terrified of what was to come and we'll be talking a little bit about like you know my insecurities and stuff like that when it comes to youtube i have plenty of them uh, trust me i have plenty of them and i didn't realize when i first started youtube i'd ever get anything like this so yeah that's something to happen <laughs> but yeah um so first so making this channel was definitely one of the one of the most difficult things i think i've ever done because i had to basically not really abandon but change my course from my main channel onto this channel as of a good amount of you already know i've been doing youtube content on youtube for about seven years now uh, just about seven years and I have another channel which is player two spelled backwards player two spelled backwards with outro and DBZ anime and more that's the channel I've been running for seven plus years I've had that channel for so long and that was this channel's my baby that channel is literally my baby and um, this past year I made the decision to make a brand new channel where I'd be posting all of my role plays on um, instead of posting them on on that channel which was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do, like ever. And I'm really happy that, you know, you guys gave me a chance, honestly. I'm really, really happy you guys gave me the chance to look at my content, um, even with all of this. Because I my really big thing was I, the first series, as you guys know, um, that we did, which actually I'll switch to it if I have it right here. Do I have it? Uh, which one? Which one do we use? Uh, well, I don't have the ears, but, you know, there we go. <laughs> I don't have ears because this is just a normal server. I don't think I have Blockbuster on this one. Um, but, yeah, we got to be the Impu. Impu was my first ever character that we that I introduced on this channel fully. And it was scary to do it, do Origins of Olympus. I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to be doing Impu. I mean, at first, he was going to be just a, you know, shy emo edgy bean basically based uh, not really wanting to do much he was really scared of you know confrontation but then he turned um he found love and became one of the happiest beans on the series you know it's kind of crazy to see it that way you know at first you think of a character going one direction and he turns out to be completely different um he turned into one of my favorite characters i've ever done period impu is one of my favorites and you know I still get fan art from you guys all the time and love from you guys. Messages. Bro. <laughs> I'm trying to be sentimental. Bro! Wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. They're all gone now. <laughs> uh, but, like, 
I, I still get messages from you guys saying how much you loved Impu, and trust me, I absolutely loved this freaking Bean, too. I absolutely love him, and I want to bring him back in some way. But I'm just so happy you guys really decided to like him a lot. Um, took that, Origins of Olympus was like, you know, like I said, was the series that I, like, you know, I was going to make it or break it. Like, if, if Origins of Olympus, like, people didn't really care too much about it, I don't know if I'd be doing YouTube anymore. And you guys really, really, you know, appreciate everything I did, and you guys really enjoyed it. So I, I can always just say thank you. Like, honestly, thank you so much. Um, because, yeah. Like I said, I guess like I would go into a little bit of insecurities here uh, because I did mention that, um, you know, I didn't think that, you know, uh, this yeah, I was going to be making YouTube content anymore. So that's actually something that I'm still currently kind of fighting with myself. Um, the reason why another reason is that I decided to do role plays on this channel and not my other main channel that I've always done is because you could probably look at that channel right now and what I got, I got like 260,000 subs or something like that on that channel. And it's hard to say. I don't like talking analytics. I don't like talking that stuff. It's boring to you. It's boring. M numbers are boring. But I am going to say this. It sounds stupid, but I literally have a fear of numbers. <laughs> it's it's weird to say. It's more like a fear of analytics and a fear of failing. I think that's something that I have been wrestling with for quite some time. Like, all the time. All the time, I feel that way. Um, people that, you know, are friends with me, you even could probably tell them. Either it's like my girlfriend or it's like Mitch or anybody in Origins or any other of my friends. You could probably tell that, like, you know, if, if something doesn't do well for me, any video, period. If it doesn't do well, um, I get extremely depressed like on instantly just instantly like yeah obviously you're gonna be somewhat sad if like you know something doesn't do well and you're like oh man i put a lot of time into it that kind of stinks on to the next one unfortunately me saying on to the next one takes a lot longer and it's been something i've been fighting with for two and a half three years um i've been fighting this like in my back of my head that like i'm gonna fail for so long and i'm still fighting it I like how I'm saying this. Like, like you think, like, you know, me going to origin, making this channel and making Origins of Olympus. That was my, you know, it's like once you did that, oh, everything's better now. No, nothing's, <laughs> it's still there. I even had this feeling yesterday, literally yesterday, uh, when I uploaded FNAF stuff, I felt it immediately. Like, I felt like, yep, I, this is it. This is the end. Like, every single time something doesn't go the, exactly the way I think, it is it just hits me. I, I don't know how to personally fix this. I think it's something I'm just going to have to deal with. Maybe, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people have been asking me to do like, I'm not, I've been watching videos of people who have this sort of issue too. Cause I watch a lot of content creators. It's something that you guys probably have seen and heard of for a long time. Um, for the past couple of years is that a lot of content creators have been going to like therapy and stuff. Okay. For, for this, for like, you know, dealing with this stuff. And, I might, this might be something I might be trying to do this next year. I mean, I'm saying this right now. I don't know exactly if I'm actually going to, but maybe I will just to see if maybe something can work because it's something that I need to deal with personally. And trust me, the love and the appreciation that you guys have given me has been absolutely insane this past year. Thank you so much for all of it. But sometimes, you know, all the love and support that you can get sometimes isn't just enough. I don't like saying that. That sounds mean. But, like, like you know, like, if people give you compliments and you're like, oh, yeah, you're so cute, you're so funny, you're such a per nice person, blah, 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 and you're like, oh, that's really thankful, but, like, deep down you don't think of that yourself, that's kind of how I feel. It's like, oh, you, I love your stuff. Your stuff is the best ever. I, I like, it's just, your guys' comments are so nice, but then, like, it, my, my demons in my head are like, <laughs> they're just saying that because they feel bad for you. That's literally a thought. That's literally a thought I have. People, like, my brain will tell me that people are doing this because they feel bad. That's something I have. And I'm trying to fight that. I'm honestly trying to fight that. Um, but that's something that, thankfully, this past year has minimized a little bit. I still feel it all the time. But it's minimized it a little bit because of just how much love you guys have been giving me. Which I've been so thankful for. Because 
during 2018 and 2019, I've made videos in the past where it's been my my most stressful years. And the beginning of 2020 was probably my me most stressful I've ever been on YouTube, period. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I thought about this channel, and I was like, do I abandon everything that I have ever done to try to start this channel? And it was difficult for me. It was very difficult. I'm so happy that I took that leap because the community that this channel has built, you guys are like literally the sweetest, nicest people I think I've ever met in my god dang life. And I want to keep you guys. You guys are so freaking cute and golly. I want to give every single one of you a hug because you're freaking adorable. And like, oh my God, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> but like, it's just been a tough year. I mean, that's the first half of the year. So tough. I mean, with, with everything going on with like COVID and like, you know, pandemic going on the world in general, it makes everybody stressed. Everyone was stressed, but I like, I felt it a lot. I felt it a lot. This like the beginning of the year. Thankfully, once this channel was made, I actually moved away from a place that I thought was not good for me personally because I was living in Massachusetts. And basically, um, I don't like swearing that much, but I'm just going to say it right now. Cover your ears for all the people who don't like swearing. Three, two, one. It was a shithole, basically. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible place. I never liked it to begin with. I lived there for a year and I hated it every single moment of it. Finally, I moved out of Massachusetts and I moved back to my hometown with my girlfriend and Mitch. And thankfully, living situation has been so much better and I've loved every single moment of living here. Um, it's definitely helped my mood a, a lot more, but still, it's not 100% enough to like, you know, make me 100% better. <sighs> it's definitely been tough. I know I keep saying this. I didn't want to rant about it, but like... It's just really been tough. Like the people I've met this year through all of you guys, through everyone in Origins, just in general, you got, I've made friendships that I never had before on YouTube because I usually was a person who would only make videos by himself. I mean, I used to make videos with Mitch a long time ago, but then there was a good like two, three years where I literally did videos by myself all the time and I didn't really record with anybody. So being on teams again and being able to talk to people is was a challenge at first for me. It was a big challenge because I didn't talk to people. I developed a lot of social anxiety that I still very struggle with. And I um and I, I've been able to make a lot of friends this past year. A lot of friends. Not just with Origins, but with you guys. I've been able to make a lot of friends. So I thank every single one of you, you know, for taking the time watching my stuff and you know not just with not just with oh well not just with oh well even like uh even like persona like persona was fun to do i'm sad that like we had to put on like a hiatus because fto was going on but i even loved this series being able to make this the intro i made for it was absolutely beautiful the series the idea mitch had a really good idea for it and i liked gordon i liked him he's an interesting character but i liked him also, I still think this is like one of the coolest skins I've I have. I just like his hair a lot. <laughs> He's very flashy. And then we have that, and then we go off to you know, let's see here, Mr. Alamos himself, Mr. Alamos, absolute jerk of a dude. But he was, but you know, misunderstood. Would you say misunderstood? Maybe partially, but at the same time, he honestly just has an ego. He's just e egotistical, very egotistical. Um, but like. Yeah, he's um he he was one of my favorite characters I've ever played. Period. Because last year in Fairy Tale Season Four, I introduced him at the beginning of the year, and I he was gonna be fun. I wanted to have a blast with him, and I did, and I still am because the finale is coming out soon. Um, I'm still am. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm glad you guys are absolute Alamos, and you guys have absolutely you know, dealt with the fact that I changed his accent every single time that I tried to do stuff with Alamos, you know, the first ever and current guild leader, Grimshade. Yeah, and I like how you guys actually don't mind the fact that I'm, like, slightly voice acting, not my own voice. <laughs> That's something I'm learning, too, is voice acting. And I'm trying my best. Still got a lot to learn, though. I mean, like, people like Devin are, like, 404. Oh, I have a long way to go to catch up to him. He's freaking talented as hell. <laughs> We'll get there though. Maybe, maybe, eh, maybe eh, he's really good. Maybe not. <laughs> well, anyways, well, we Alamos is good, and then you know, FNAF being able to be Pat the security bean, um, that you know takes care of you know all the animatronics and Brian. He's been 
really this series has been really fun to deal with, um, play with like Brian and just recently being able to do stuff with Davis in the series has been a blast. Um, I'm so thankful for the opportunity that he gave me to be able to be this character. Not just be my character, but be able to record it as well and be able to showcase it for you guys as well. Um, I'm very thankful that he let me do that, and I will never take that for granted. Um, and then lastly, lastly, I'm trying to think of anyone else for series-wise. Um, we have one that's coming out soon, which, you know, is happening soon. This poor, poor, oh, this baby. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. <laughs> I'm so happy to be Riku. I know, it looks weird without, he looks weird without his hat. That's one thing I noticed. He looks a lot weird without his hat. But it's the baby. Also, don't you like my shaders? They do that. I know, I'm getting distracted, but you know. What, who's in there? Is that a, is that a zombie in there? Bro. Yeah, that's a straight up zombie. Huh. Creepy. <laughs> but um, I'm very, very happy to bring the baby to life. Riku's going to be... He's going to be one of my more fun characters I've played ever. Also, might be one of my most challenging characters I've ever played before the stuff that I plan on doing for him. Also, God, it's peaceful. How do you get rid of slimes? Do you not? Do you just suffer with slimes? I guess. But yeah, he's going to be one of my more difficult characters because... Of what I want to do with him. I'm not going to spoil anything. But he's definitely... I'm going to be doing some stuff with him that I've never done before in roleplay period. And I cannot wait to do that. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And it's not like people will think like, oh, is it something with relationship wise? No, it's not relationship wise. Yes, um, Riku... Like, I mean, it's Origins. Everybody gets in relationships with Origins these days. So, like, there's going to be something. But the, what I'm thinking of right now is not relationship-based. It's going to be different. But I'm going to be happy doing it. I'm going to be very happy doing it. Um, yeah. And then, you know, just for just for lulls, I'm going to go back to my normal skin. I need to make, like, an Aya and, an, um, Naya and a Maya skin, like, for normal Minecraft. Because this is my normal skin that I've used for uh, for a while now. Um, Zaro made this for me. But I think I might change it. I don't know. I like the skin, though. The skin's nice, but um, I might change it after a while. Yeah, so sorry I ranted for so long about the fact that I have a lot of, like, insecurities and stuff when it comes to my content. I'm very thankful with everything I make, but now, like, when I make these videos, I also... <laughs> Another insecurity that comes up immediately is when I make these videos and talk about the fact that I have insecurities, I feel like it's a call for attention, which people say it's not, but I feel like it is. So you, you see how much it deals with me. I feel very, a lot of, a lot of things bubble inside of me and I don't know how to fight it. I think the only way I can really do is just try to talk it out. Maybe do these videos every once in a while and maybe go to therapy or something like that. I'm not certain. I might seek it. Who knows? Um, maybe something else. I'll, I'll think about it in the course of the year. Regardless though, that actually might be a new year resolution is try to figure out how to stop this for me. Maybe that is something I want to do. Regardless, though, I usually like trying to do a little bit of um, New Year's resolutions or for, for the next year when it comes to channels, uh, when it comes to my ch um, this channel. What do I want to do? Well, I want to make sure that Riku is the most lovable beam on the face of the planet. That is a, that is a the New Year's resolution. I want to make sure that character is great because I feel like you guys will like him. And I want to make sure that, you know, I give, I give the lad justice because he's going to love it. And you guys are going to like it if I go the way that I plan on doing it. Um, as well, um, New Year's resolution is just, you know, keep up all the content. Make sure that, you know, new role plays come out. More than just Origins and FNAF related, but also other series that you guys might like. I know we're talking about doing Scythe and Shield. Um, the Rise of Scythe and Shield Season 2 is going to be coming out um, on Mitch's channel and this channel. By the way, for people who haven't watched it, I'll probably be uploading all of season one on this channel as well. So you guys could check it out yourselves um, if you haven't already. So I'll do that. But we're, I'm going to try to make other series besides, you know, Origins related. I really like doing edgier stuff, but I also want to do wholesome stuff. So, you know, be, un be aware there's going to be both. You know, there's going to be some angst. There's going to be some edge. And also there's going to be some comf char comfy characters. I like making comfy characters. 
I know. Uh, the series I always make, I always, like, want to make, like, an anime style, like, you know, like, you know, slice of life anime, or, like, a ro romantic anime series, or something like that, you know? Maybe one day, we c I I'm this year. Uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. This year, I'm going to try to do something similar to that. I think it'd be cool. And then lastly, I always try to, like, make, like, a goal as to how big I want this channel, uh, this channel to be at the end of the year. You know, like a sub goal. Uh, because, you know, that's something YouTubers do a lot. I mean, at this point, I just want to make sure that, you know, you guys are happy and I'm able to, like, live off of the videos that I make. That's honestly what I want to do the most. But if I want to give it a specific number... Because <sighs> we're at 32 right now. I wouldn't mind doubling or um, doubling to, like, you know, you know, 65, 75K, maybe, would be pretty cool. I mean, a long stretch goal is to hit 100k this year. I don't know if we'll hit that because, you know, we're already, we're at like 30 plus 30k, 32k right now. And we would need what, like 68k in order to get to 100k. But that's a stretch goal. Maybe it's possible we can. I would love to, but you know, we'll see, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll definitely see on that, my friends. Uh, and on that note, guys. I'm just going to say now, thank you every single one of you for, you know, taking the time this year, giving my channel a chance, uh, watching the videos that I make, uh, you know, expressing love for them, enjoying everything. Like w even when it comes to like, you know, like the intros or just, you know, just anything I do, my characters, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Thank you for all the love, all like the support, fan art, you freaking name it, music. Uh, you guys are the best. Like, honestly, like, like, you know, I've made a channel for so long. I've been on YouTube for a while, but this community is by far the best community I've had on YouTube and I don't want to give it up ever. So thank you guys so much for, you know, sticking with me through this. And I hope to God that, um, in the next year, you know, either I feel better about myself or like, you know, I, I well, I hope I do. <laughs> I really hope I do, but you know, I just hope that, like, you know, I feel better, like, headspace-wise. I hope I can work on, like, you know, the insecurities that I have and stuff like that, which is something I definitely have to work on for a while. Um, and I don't know how to fight it, but maybe in the comments you guys can give me suggestions. I don't know. I'd like to hear what you say. So, and if you made it this long, thank you. Really appreciate it. I know I rambled on for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'll let you guys go. Um, I hope you guys is... Uh, 2021 is going to be fantastic i know it was a little bit bumpy for <laughs> some of us out there um but i hope this uh year you know let's let's forget about the first week all right my birthday's coming up in like two days and i want to be able to be a little bit happy for it so <laughs> thank you guys for joining again uh and be aware for the new videos coming out my hero's coming out soon uh, uh fto finale's coming out soon fnaf's gonna come keep coming out and new series on top of it yeah this is going to be a fun year, my friends. I really hope so. Thank you all. And until next time, take care, my friends.